Greetings and welcome to Rudy Eats once again to my wonderful den of eats. Today we have something that, uh, it was just so darn amusing that I couldn't say no to it. Today we have Frosty Root Beer since 1939. And I paid a whopping 75 cents for this very large container of it. So that's a heck of a deal, I think. Um, I just love that name, Frosty Root Beer. It's just so innocent and uh, unpretentious. And uh, holy jeez, there's a. I don't know if you can pick that up, but there's like a scary little gnome or something on there. I don't know what it says. You'll love it. One day, a friend of mine called and asked if I remembered Frosty Root Beer from my childhood. Well, of course I did. Who could forget that little Frosty Elf? Or that refreshing root beer flavor? I did some research and discovered that Frosty's was near extinction. So our family's beverage company, in Intrastate Distributors Incorporated, that's a catchy name, purchased this American icon, and we are pleased to offer it to consumers once again. Starting with classic old-fashioned root beer, we expanded the product line offering diet root beer, cherry lemonade, blue cream, what's blue cream, and other mouth-watering flavors. I hope you enjoy it and share the good news with your family and friends. Drayton. Drayton, that's... Who names our kid Drayton? I mean, I don't want to offend Mr. Whoever your Drayton is, but um, that's kind of a funky name. Uh, I like their f scary little elf man, and I uh, like the bottle and the amusing little story there, and you probably can't see it, but uh, embossed into the bottle it actually says Frosty. That's cool, I like that. So let's crack this bad boy open and go to town! Yeah! Getting heavy wintergreen. Smell, it smells like a certs. But uh, I won't judge. So uh, let's just try. Wow, really heavy on the wintergreen. Um, it actually has, leaves like a minty uh, aftertaste in your mouth, which isn't unpleasant, but... Uh, it actually reminds me a lot of uh, Dad's root beer, uh, except this has a touch... Uh, a tiny tad bit of a uh, creamier flavor and the overall intensity of the root beer flavor is uh, toned down a bit and uh, doesn't uh, stay on your palate for an extended period kind of fades rather quickly except for that winter green I bet after chugging this whole bottle you would have the freshest breath Maybe that plays into the whole frosty um, <coughs> aspect of it. You know, uh, that's not bad. <coughs> I actually like that. I actually like that better than the dad's. Uh, maybe I'm just growing to embrace a, uh, a wider variety of uh, root beers. Uh... Yeah, it's not heavy, it's not super syrupy. Um, let's just check the ingredients. It does have high fructor, fr fructose. Oh man, I'm getting old. It does have high fructose corn syrup. So the the sweetness does linger on, the, on your tongue a little bit longer. But um, I 
That's actually, uh, I would say, refreshing. Usually that's not something that comes to mind when I drink a root beer. Uh, it's, it's very familiar and yet somewhat unique. That's a whole quart out that you'll be able to <clears throat> chug that whole thing, especially since I've just been chugging a few sodas beforehand. But uh, just know I'm not really on my game right now, so. <clears throat> 32 fluid ounces. This has 110 calories in 8 ounces. That's, that's pretty calorie uh, heavy. But, um, uh, I'm interested to see the uh, other products that uh, they serve up. Especially that blue cream. What is that, like, Curacao? I don't know. make a good root beer float. So thank you for joining me on this edition of Rudy Eats and uh, who knows what we have might 